and they burned this off about mm, four weeks ago I guess it is now look how green it is pretty nice pretty nice look how green everything is let's go fling some froggy flies oh yeah this looks good you see that old cotton mouth back on the road there <laughs> somebody ran over his head it was a little cotton mouth but I'm quite sure that's what it was hopefully I won't run in into any uh, snakes today not that it matters a great deal jeez what a beautiful day and I got plenty of time right, folks here we go there's the bug-eyed Clem Cadiddle Hopper Froggy Fly. Let's see how the fish like it. Oh, there goes a the snake. Look at that. Start talking about snakes and what shows up. That one's sitting low in the water. Moving fast, so probably not a not a poisonous snake, be my guess. Sitting too low in the water. Ooh, there's a the fish right up close. I just had a, a brim come up and take a look at it. Peck that a little bit. Oh, there goes the bass right there. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, I got a good feeling about today. It'll be tough keeping the crud off the lure. There you go. There's a nice little brim. Caught on a froggy fly. The Clem Cadiddle Hopper. Froggy fly. Look at that. Isn't that something? Nice size brim. Not a monster, but a good one. It'll be alright. I'll take those all day long. Boop, pops right out. Look at there. See you later. Really ought to be keeping those. Those are really good eating. That fly is working good. And bug eyes on top. Those are just doll eyes. Colored with a magic marker. All that frilly chartreuse stuff on the bottom. This thing ought to work good. There you go. There's a little bass. First little bass. I was just drawing back to do another cast and he stomped on it. gonna have to make a weedless version I can tell already even just diving down a two inches or so an inch really picks up all kinds of debris yeah I just lost my first one first decent bass he's only about a foot long had him on long enough to get a good look at him a couple of jumps and he spit it trying to turn the camera on a right, little one Pulled him right out of that brush. I'm surprised he hung on as well as he did. There you go. Go get your mama. Of course, I don't think your mama wants that little bite-sized fly. Could be wrong. Here's another nice little sunny. Dun -da -dun. Love it. That's a number. That's either a six or a number four hook. I think it's a six. Yeah, that looks more like a six to me. So it's small enough for brim, big enough for bass. At least that's the theory. So far it's proven true, except for big fish. Chunking it out there. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he's trying again. 
He's trying. That was another brim. Looked like a good one. There he is again. Can't stick him. Come on. Try again. Come on, little buddy. Try again. Boy, I thought that fish was bigger than we turned out to be. He hit it hard and took it deep. <laughs> Little bitty bass. Oh well. It ran into me. I don't see if another one. I'm actually seeing some movement in the water up here. Seeing a lot of movement. There's fish in here. If one thing has changed over the years, it's my ability to read the water. I can see those fish long before I get to them. It's like, that's why I like working so much line. Oops, there he is. There he is. <laughs> that one followed it up before he picked it up. Struck at it three or three times. That's fun. Don't you know that's fun? Size of the fish doesn't always matter. I got several of them in here in this shallow. In all this shallow water right here. Just missed another one. Small bass. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if you saw that, but fish jumped clear out of the water over there. Those bass are picking off dragonflies, would be my guess. Oop, I moved out. Spook something. Right there. Oh, there's another one two fish in there. Come on. Come on. Don't be chicken. And I can't get more precise than that. Not with a fly rod. Fish is back there. He ought to take a look. Man. Oh, sweet. That was sweet. All the way back into the cove. Into that little cut. Oh, there's one after it. He is again. Got a strip set. He's not gonna look at him chasing it. Must be a brim. He's chasing it all the way up. <laughs> Come on, grab a hold, fish. Wow. There he is. <laughs> ah, I stayed on him. That's why you want a strip set. That kept the fly right in the strike zone. And there's a little bass to prove it. Well, alrighty. Oh, hold on. Oh, almost pulled off one of the eyeballs. Oh, dang it. The eyeballs almost fell off. Oh, look, it's almost falling off. That's just foam with an eyeball on top of the foam. Well, it'll be a one-eyed frog pretty soon. See if anything else over there. That's the first bass that did it like that. Normally they just attack it. They don't hesitate. That's why I thought it was brim. There goes the teal. Cruising through. There's a, another bass up shallow. This one's fighting better too. Of course, that is a little bigger bass. That's a little bigger fish. 
Oh, the camera, there we go. I don't know why that camera does that. But look at there, nice little fish caught on the foggy fly, which is now the clam cadiddle hopper with one eyeball. I knew that was going to fall off of there. Yep, did not do a very good job of securing the foam. Marvelous hook pops right out. And you got one nice little bass. Uh oh, one eye fly now. Bet it works better. Bass don't think he can see as good anymore. One eye. One eyed Clem Cadiddle Hopper. There you go. That one came from real shallow water to pick it up. He made a beeline to it. So they're going into attack mode. That's good. Fishing's probably fixing to get really good. Fishing's fixing to get really good. Let's see if there's a second one up shallow. Let's see if there's another one up here somewhere real shallow. That's about where I put it the first time. That bass made a beeline. There he is again. I had a little tiny one on. Wasn't much bigger than the bug. There we go. We're going to catch a big girl here in a minute. This is getting to be that special time of the day. And the big bass come out. There's another little fly, little fish. Little fish on the Clem Cadiddle Hopper. Oh, hold still. Come on, he's already lost one eye. Don't take his next one. All right, thanks for coming. Go get your mama. I bet she's out here somewhere. I'll bet she is out here somewhere. I got a lot of lot of bass in this spot right here. I can see them moving. They're chasing it. A lot of fish right here in this stretch. Prime time. There's one under it right now. Saw it move the water. That's when it pays to just keep sticking it back at him. He was just a few feet in front of me. Picked it up. Got one looking at it. It moved a little more water. It might be a bigger fish. What the heck? Entice him on a second tie. That fish moved a lot of water. That might be a better fish. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh man, come on, fish. Oh, dang it. That fish is still sitting there. Big old, big old snake. That one's floating fairly high in the water too. I don't know. Well, he ain't bothering me. Just came up right up here in front of me. It's that time of year. There's a big bluegill. 
Nice little sunfish. I think that's a bluegill. Look at the bars on that thing. It is pretty. Very pretty, and he liked the froggy fly. The Clem Cadiddle Hopper. It's really getting active. So one of the frogs. Hear them croaking. Well, this little froggy fly is getting kind of tore up. that there's a bigger bass in this area somewhere. Oh my god, something chasing it. Hey, look at that, look at that. Must be a brim. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Fights like a brim. That's because it is a big one. Yeah, that big old sunny. Let's see if they can get turned around there. There we go. Nice, sunny. They're getting bigger. That's a thick fish, too, man. Oh, he just squirted me in the face. <laughs> squirted me in the face. Look at that. A big, beautiful brim. Big as my hand. Thick. Pops right out. See you later. Thanks for coming. Great big thunderstorm out off in the distance. It's collapsing, but you can kind of see the tops of mushroom flattening out on top. Great big clouds. Sun's going down. Few minutes left. Temperature's about perfect. It's probably 73, 74 degrees. Doesn't get much better than this. Another little bass. Jumped all over it. He wanted it. Oop, and there he is. And followed it all the way up, way out there. He struck at two or three times before he finally got a hold of it. Yep. Froggy fly. Boy, that froggy fly is getting beat to dickens. Beat to death. Get out there. Let's see who else is hanging around out here. Where's big mama? Right in the reflection of that big old cloud. Pretty, isn't it? Saw some water move right over here. Oh yeah, nice. Right there, come on. Right there somewhere. It's real weedy. I can tell my fly's got something on it already. Knock it off. Nice long cast, come on. Come on, bass, where are you? Where are you? Come on. Come 
Oh, 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 get a hold of your line. There he is. He's hitting it. Come on. Chase it up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That bass was tiny. What a trains today, man. Not a very big fish, and he's way over there. Oh, he let loose. Several fish right in front of me. I don't know if any of them are any size, but there's one over here by that big old mound of dirt right in there. I'll bring him out. That should do it. Come on. A little bit of pink in the sky. Oh, there he is. Try it again. Come on. Come on. There he is. <laughs> that's, that's a little bigger. Not a monster, but a good bass. A good bass right there in the pink sky. Come here, fish. There you go. Getting a little bigger. There's another little one. On the Clem Cadiddle Hopper. There's another one. All covered in weeds. Oh, come here. There you go. Another nice little bass. On the Clem Cadiddle Hopper. He was double hooked. See you later. Thanks for coming. That's what a fly looks like after a day of catching bass. Foam flies don't last very long. So don't spend a lot of time making them. If they work, they look like this after one use. Make a bunch of them. That way you don't run out. Oh, the froggies are starting to get loud. Oop, there's one. Ooh, lightning. Got something. Just tasting it. Well, there's no one that frog flies work. Listen to that. Boom, there he was. Boom, there he is again. Must be a little one. Ooh, I smell fresh cut grass. Smell like hay. It's a nice smell. Look at here. They're getting a little bigger. Come here. Boom, look at that. Getting a little bigger. Put up a little better fight on the Clem Cadiddle Hopper. All right, thanks for coming. Now go get your mama. There's another one. That fish hit it, stayed right where he was, and I threw it right back to him, and pow, he nailed it. Thanks for coming. Go get your mama. There's a lot of bass in these in this shallow water now. They're in here a lot. I'm getting a lot of strikes almost almost every cast something hits it. It really 
active. Not much more light left, really. Okay, there's one I'm messing with now. Threatening to carry me off. telling me oh <laughs> well maybe not not just quite yet <laughs> I messed up my line Let's see if we get that bass to pick it up again end it. You reel it all the way in. And you head back to the truck. Boy, it's nice. They mowed the, They mowed right down along the edge of the of the water. We ain't got to worry so much about the snakes. <laughs> it'll be a snake in the grass, but it'll be short grass. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.